if your pet doesn't have a microchip already, it's a really good idea to have one placed because this gives them the best chance of being identified and reunited with you if they were ever to get lost or stolen. Uh, if you've never seen one, the microchip itself is really tiny, about the size of a grain of rice. And this is inserted under the skin at the back of the animal's neck, normally between the shoulder blades, so it's nice and easy to locate. Um, it takes a matter of seconds to place and then it can stay in for the whole of the animal's life. The actual process of placing the microchip involves using a needle which has the microchip on the inside and in order for the microchip to pass through the needle, the needle itself does have to be quite wide. So unfortunately it can be a little bit uncomfortable. We tend to distract the patient with treats while we place it which works quite well. Another thing to consider for younger patients is having the microchip placed whilst they're being neutered. Um, we can then place the chip whilst they're under anaesthetic so they don't know anything about it which is quite nice. Once the chip is in place, will register you and your pet's details into an online microchip database. The microchip inside your pet holds a, a unique serial number, it's normally about 15 digits long, um, it's like a specific code and if your pet were to then stray and is then found, any vets or rescue centre and the dog wardens, they use a special scanner to locate the chip under the skin. This scanner will then pick up the microchip's code and this code then can either be entered into the online database or we can contact the company the chip is registered with and then your details will be held there so we can obtain your details and then we can get your pet back to you as soon as possible. It's really lovely when we can reunite a lost pet with its owners and there's nothing more frustrating than when we have a patient in need of treatment or just waiting to find its owners and there's no microchip that makes that possible. So in the vast majority of cases, a microchip is really the only way of getting your pet back to you safely.